What's up, everyone? Eric Rossi, the guy with the eye here. I'm going to talk about two things. One, obviously, being the big storyline, and another just to kind of wrap things up because I don't want to make two videos. But you probably heard that Nikon took a big hit today, February 13th. Not sure when you're going to see this. You might see this tomorrow. What's going to happen to the future of Nikon? So if you haven't heard, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you do, especially people who really don't like Nikon, I'm a Nikon photographer myself, just to be transparent. So a lot of this is going to come from someone who has invested a lot of money and time into Nikon uh, gear and everything of that. I've used a bunch of other stuff too, but going on, Nikon has canceled their mirrorless DL line, as you can see from the big headlines right here. Extraordinary loss. It's never coming out. Extraordinary loss. The big thing is Nikon admitted that and it's, this is very hard for a company to do. It's that they're not going to make any kind of profit or anything with this camera. And it has been pushed back from time and time. And now, of course, it's never coming out because they, they're not going to do well with it. And it, well, like I said, it, it takes guts for a uh, company to do that. And, you know, they experimented, and I'll talk about all that with other stuff coming out, especially in 2016, was really kind of an experimental year for Nikon, and I don't think it went that well. But the biggest thing, literally almost a month to this day, was the Nikon DL announcement, the 18-150, 24-85, and the 24-500, which all were fixed lens. And you can look at it right here, and they're all discontinued now, obviously, with this cancellation. They're all fixed lens mirrorless cameras, one-inch sensors. It is... It had a little bit of promise, but the prices were a little too high. They were going to experiment with some 4K video, but like as you see right here, this is stuff that's already done. Sony's owning that type of market. The mirrorless market is owned by Sony, and if anything, you want to go micro four thirds, you're going to think Panasonic. Now, the other thing to look at right now is how is the market, how everything is reacting to this this loss. Nikon really hasn't moved much. Their stock hasn't moved a ton, as you can see right here. And just to give a little bit of juxtaposition, Canon stock, it, it's, it's pretty much what it's always kind of been. The issue is, has Nikon lost their allure? I don't think that they're a dying company. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as you hear me talk about this. I don't think Nikon is a dying company. I, I just think that they're not doing things correctly. And that's why the allure is off. And once again, I got the Nikon D750 uh, just mid last year to shoot a couple weddings. And I actually really like it. That's what I use to shoot all my videos now. I moved on from the Nikon D600 that I mainly shot with. And it did things well. The, uh, the things that really kind of hurt them and hurt their progression to things was getting into the action cam market. I don't think th it, it wasn't a success. The 360's quality is pretty garbage. The 170 is competing with, it was trying to compete with the GoPro, and that isn't even that good in all honesty. And the point and shoot market and everything is dead. I, for, for most things, when you're actually looking like the Coolpix line, the AW, the underwater stuff, it, no one's buying them. You have your phone, you have your iPhone, you have your, your Google Pixel, you have your Droid, whatever you have does a lot better than what's on there. A lot of people are, you know, going that as well. The other confusing thing was the Nikon D500 because of its price and it being crop censored and really kind of competing with the Nikon D750, give or take 4K video-ish, and it being mainly for sports. And that just confused a lot of people, and rightfully so. But it's this is a big deal, and no one fully knows, you know, there has been a lot of cuts and budgets and reorganization on Nikon, especially over the past year in 2016. They had big profits, kind of, in 2015. 2016, they took a huge hit, and this is where this is coming to now. So the DL line is not coming out the mirrorless, and I don't think this is what they needed to do anyway. The only other way to beat Sony or to catch up with Sony is to have a full-frame mirrorless camera. Now, Canon is doing an okay job with their EOS M line, the M3, five uh they're gonna come out with the six uh, probably when you're watching this either today or a little bit later and the 10 that they had the the three and the 10 are really kind of out right now i just think that the next the only way to compete in this mirrorless line is to make a full frame camera said done but nikon doesn't even necessarily have to do that they just got to listen to their consumer like the da20 rumor that's out right now is that it's going to be 46 or 48 megapixels or some bs I don't want that. I, I, who cares? You're competing with the 5DSR or 5DS whatever. I, it's not needed and not a lot of people are going to want that stuff. You're going to have to do something better, something more intelligent. 
because Nikon to me is one of the biggest uh, companies to fall behind because even their autofocus isn't that good. Canon is putting their dual pixel uh, autofocusing system basically into every camera that's coming out now. And that is one of the top ones. And I'd even say over Sony for the most part out there. So they're coming out. They're not doing that well. I don't think Nikon in their hundredth year is failing. I just think that this is, it's a good move for them. They can concentrate on other stuff, but they really have to tackle down what they used to do before. Nikon makes phenomenal lenses. Autofocusing could be better in those as well and how it connects and everything, but they need to go back to the drawing board and try things. I don't think they're a GoPro. GoPro is tanking. They're, they're all the way down. Canon's maintaining. Sony is still going up. The GH5 is going to help Panasonic. Uh, Fuji's up there as well. Nikon, to me, has lost the Allure a lot. And I have debated switching a ton. That's why I even have a Ricoh GR2 as my street camera because I love what it does. It's so simple. It's so easy to use. And that's just what it is. But that's just what I have to say. Nikon isn't tanking. They're not going down. The Allure is just moving off a ton. And the only really kind of rumor we have right now is the ridiculous D820, in my opinion. Please let me know what you think of that down below. The other thing real quick I wanted to cover is rumored, and it's pretty much going to kind of become official, especially around CP+, is that you're going to get, Sigma is going to come out with another art, uh, art line, the 135mm f1.8, which is mind-blowing, and then a 14mm f1.8. Now, do, would you like these type of lenses? I would be very interested actually in the um, in the 14 millimeter. Like I really don't do a lot of portraits and everything. And I have the Nikon, um, you know, 100 macro that that or 105 macro that does everything I need. But I really do like wide angle. So I got the Tamron 15 to 30. What are your thoughts? Do you think something like that has been interesting? I mean, these lenses have been talked about for years, but you're going to get something on full frame. So let me know what you think. Is Nikon feeling, uh, failing? Is the allure of it lost? What is going wrong for Nikon? How can they improve? And Sigma news with CP Plus coming up, very excited. Would you want either of these lenses? Let me know down in the comments below. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Let's engage in some discussion. Let's not try to be too fanboy and let's just have a real talk with this because Nikon taking a hit like this and, and really kind of coming out there is a big deal because if Canon or any other brand did that, especially like a Panasonic, uh, Fuji, Olympus, or anything like that, it would be even bigger because they don't have as much as the market as Nikon does, even though they don't really have the market themselves uh, as well. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Nikon, your allure is very much being lost. You got to get us back or a lot of us are going to leave.